Hello, so this is the second video looking at weapon accessories. This time it's the underbarrel accessories. So we're going to look at three different grips. The ergo grip, the angled grip and the stubby grip. There are three other grips but they're just copies of these ones and the underslung rail doesn't affect shooting at all. So using exactly the same principle as the first video so we have a wall that's 25 meters away from this little bush and that's going to be our range and our target so first of all the M416 with no attachments at all so back at the bush and we're going to fire three full auto at the base of each of those vertical lines and then this will give us our reference to see what, if any, difference the grips make. So I'm not pulling back for the recoil at all, just letting the gun move as it wants. So those are our three baseline patterns of a unadorned 416. So then take that as a still and then put a dot on each of the shots that hit the wall and on the corners and then put that into an image and we get just the shots recorded. So we've got a typical 416 pattern where the recoil is up and to the right with a fairly moderate spread. So we'll try the ergo grip. Now this says that it affects hip fire when moving. But we're going to try all of these grips out on this test just to make sure that what it says is what it does. I haven't yet come up with an idea for a standard way of testing one of these while moving. But if I do, then I'll check out how effective the ergo grip is in that. As you can see, we get another pattern on the wall. And again, capture that and mark all the bullet holes. And then we can overlay it on the bear gun. As you can see, very little difference. seems pretty standard with the bear gun or as standard as you can get with overlaying random shots so our next grip is the angled grip and this reduces first shot recoil and again we'll do three full auto dumps against the wall so we can compare the bullet patterns I know these aren't the most interesting things to watch but it shows that it's all fair and above board and how I'm getting the images and the facts so I'll capture that mark the bullets and overlay it again so as you can see the actual spread and recoil is mostly the same but the first to second shot recoil is a lot lower I think you can see the bottom two blue dots are closer so our next grip is a stubby grip and this reduces the penalty to accuracy caused by auto fire and so this should have a marked effect in this test the simple standing still and full auto against the wall stubby grip should be the one that we see the most improvement from and there you can see the pattern we get from the stubby grip 
Uh, if we compare that with the bear gun, we can see that the red dots are in a much less spread pattern. So the recoil is the same, but the grouping of the shots is tighter. So that is as we expect from the description of the stubby grip. So what conclusions can we draw about these three grips from the test? The ergo grip does nothing if you are standing still. So if you are standing still and aiming down sights, the ergo grip will do nothing for you. If you are running and gunning, then that's the grip you want to take, but I think only for close range. The angled grip is your long range burst fire grip. We can see that the first shots were about half the distance. It says 33, but on the wall the second shot was about 50% closer. So if you're burst firing at range, then the angled grip would be the choice for you. So the most dramatic change was with the stubby grip, which did make the pattern quite a lot tighter. It doesn't reduce the recoil, but it does make the spread less. And this seems to be a good grip for all circumstances. So if you want a generic setup that you can run on pretty much any map, put a stubby grip on. So that's it for the underbarrel accessories. Next time I'm going to look at combinations of underbarrel and barrel accessories. Now that would be quite a long video because there's four barrel accessories and three underbarrel accessories. But I think it's obvious looking at some of them that there are definite combinations that should work together. So I'm going to test out those. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful.